So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the lovely new build that we have on the channel. This is going to be the new commando build in the PTS, as you will see. Some of the changes are different, so start Chains has moved into Endurance from, of course, Luck. And I've tried to make a build which I think will be good for the raids and, in general, just running around doing damage. That's what's mainly focused on. It's focused on doing damage and being a pretty solid, bloodied stealth commando. So... These are the lovely perks we've gone for. I've gone for Bandolier to carry as much ammo as I can. We've gone for all three of the Commando perks with Master Commando, Commando and Expert Commando. Kept Concentrated Fire at level 1. We've got Tank Killer as well just to improve our rifles and stuff like that. We've also got in the Endurance, we've got Life Giver just to boost up my X, uh, not XP, my HP a little bit because of course I am a bloodied stealth commando. So I've got pretty low health so really that's going to come in handy we've got ironclad just to boost our resistance a little bit Adam adamantium skeleton fireproof we've also got starch jeans on then in the charisma zone we do have inspirational which is arguably not needed as much we could potentially swap it out for something else but you know xp is xp Stranger numbers to support us and make our mutation stronger. Suppressor to kind of make the enemies a bit weaker. We've got tenderizer on as well. And then we've also got bodyguards, which was the last perk I put on. And it was a bit of a conflicting one. I just couldn't think of what else to put on. But I thought with the raids and stuff, this could potentially be a pretty solid perk. Hoping that it will just prevent us from dying a bit more in the raids and just running around in events and stuff. Intelligence, I've dropped it right down. I did run 15 intelligence. Now I'm running only three because I'm not pushing for intelligence or XP in this build. It's all about just basically getting damage and staying alive, basically. So we've got Nerd Rage on there. Agility, we've got Covert Operative. Escape Artist, Adrenaline for the damage. Evasive, Action Boy at only rank one, which I will be testing out to see if it's worth it or not. Dodgy and Gun Fu. And then finally, in the look category, we've got Bloody Mess, Better Criticals, Serendipity, Ricochet, Psychopath, Grim Reaper Sprint, and Critical Savvy. So we do have quite a lot of kind of resistance perks, but that's because, of course, the raids are going to be pretty tough. For them, we've got Ricochet, Serendipity, we've also got Dodgy, we've got Evasive, we've got Bodyguards on there, we have Adamantium Skeleton and Life Giver all pushing to try and make us survive a bit longer. I've also changed my legendary perks which I could change up again, but I did used to run five special uh, legendary perks for, of course, your special stats. I've dropped that down to just three for Perception, Endurance, and Charisma. I've got taken one for the team on to enemies take 40% more damage when they attack you. And then we've also got Funky Duds, which is plus 200 poison damage resistance while wearing a matching set of armor. And I put follow through on just to boost up the damage that little bit extra. All right, so that is the build right there. Mutations-wise, I've just kept them the same as I always have them. Um, so for them, we have... Da -da 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 -da. Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Herbivore, Herb Mentality, Marsupials, and Speed Demon. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. The weapons we'll be using to test this is going to be a B2525 Fixer. And a B2525, uh, B2525 handmade, sorry, and a B2525 fixer. So, for the sake of the damage, we will go on to the fixer. Let's start off with a nice repair kit. And, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to test out the raids. Right, I will guard the drill. Let this guy do the running. Look at that, straight, straight away. All of the bloody perks that we have on. Look at the damage we're doing, guys. 541. Oh, his sprint's not working for some reason. We are doing some mad damage right now. 377. Every time we've been shot so far has not affected us in the slightest. It's just ricocheted or dodged or whatever. Look at that. Health isn't moving. Not moving in the slightest. I didn't even get this guy. There you go. <laughs> this is actually feeling like a pretty solid build. I can't lie. We are doing some really, really nice damage numbers. And this is with a hand made on, not the fixer. If we switch over to the fixer... 
We're still taking no damage. Get them mole rats away from the drill. 360 damage a headshot. 250s. Ah, reload. Oh. We're dealing quite a bit of damage back to the enemies there, but I love it. We only took half that one's health. Oh, we dropped down. We're in the danger zone. No! Get away from my drill. Use a stim pack. Why not? I am feeling pretty confident currently in the amount of damage that we're dealing back to enemies. I mean, these are meant to be quite tough enemies as well, given the fact you're in a raid. And we're dealing with them quite nice. That one's got a little bit of health left. Like, get out. So many enemies! I don't know why one keeps running the wrong way, but you know. I'm just glad this guy hasn't been hit by a mole mine yet, because if he dies, we're pretty screwed, guys. Ah, it's broke again. Alright, as recommended, we are using the Choo Choo. There you go. In a more miner over there. And to the left. Oh, get out. I swear. Yep. I need an entrance. You got it. Now look at the drill level, guys. That's with us running backwards and forwards. You can't just run it. You can't just run it. Oh, God, they're all active. It is difficult, don't get me wrong. But it's less com complex, I think. There's a robot there. Got it, he got it. Time to damage that one. Oh, it's got that one, nice. Look off. Go get shields are back. So you gotta keep destroying the shields basically. You gotta keep destroying the shields, uh, the generators, because the generators are the things that hold the strength to these guys. I got no AP. I've got no AP. Have I just died? No one was even looking at me. I almost got killed with an eyeball or something. All right. So, from testing out the build in the raids, clearly. It is not a good build for the for the raids. It does not work. It does not work at all. I need to make a new build. So I will have a new build as well as this build that I'll be posting of my commando build. But it's fair to say, as a commando build in the world, this is a really solid build. Like, it just melts. But in terms of going in, like these are all level 100s and they're going down very easily as you can see I'm now at caution, and it does have a decent defensive stat like in terms of just dodging bullets, like with the ricochet the serendipity and everything, it works really well, but yeah, the actual build itself, I'm actually pretty pleased with it I think we've done a good job making this build, I didn't say dead easy, cutting through stuff if you want XP and stuff, of course it will need some tweaks. But the build itself, I am happy with. But the raids, 
I'm now feeling like after testing out the raids for the last couple of hours that we're now going to have to completely make a brand new build for that and I feel like Commando is not the way. I'm feeling like Auto Melee is the way so I'm going to be working on a build for that uh, just after this one and hopefully I'll have that one up on the channel soon as well. But this Commando build, it's beautiful. It's like my old Commando build but buffed and i'm happy with it but yeah let me know what you think of the build that we've made down in the comments i know for the raids it's clearly not going to work but outside of the raids when you're doing events and stuff like that it's going to be perfect it's just the raids it won't be which will need its own build made for that which we will sort out but yeah let me know what you think about it down in the comments below and that'll be it for this video so thank you all for watching i'll catch you in the next one bye bye